Well, welcome. In this video, we're going to continue our lesson 3.7, all about um, composition of, uh, well, the last video was on composi composition of functions. In this video, the second half of this lesson focuses on composition of transformations. Now, previously in this chapter, we've talked about two other, or two types of transformations. We talked about a translation. A translation is where we're moving a graph left or right, up or down. And then we also talked about a scale change. A scale change is where the graph is being stretched horizontally and or being stretched vertically. So today in this video, we're going to be learning how a tr composition can affect a transformation, meaning either scale change and a translation um, together, or maybe two scale changes and two trans, uh, translations. Uh, but the first two examples that we're going to look at are just dealing with a, a scale change and a translation and the composition, composition of those two. So let's look at what we have here. So we have a scale change of 2x and y. So the y stays the same. So remember when we're looking at a rule, the rule tells you exactly what's happening. So here what's happening is horizontally it's being stretched to be twice as large and vertically it stays the same. And then our, we have a translation that's saying x plus 4 and y minus 3. What that means is horizontally the graph is moving to the right 4 units and vertically it's going to move down 3 units. So that's how we would describe it in words. I'm not going to take the time to write it out. But now let's look at how to do parts B and C where we actually have the composition of these two transformations. So let's look at those now. Okay, so it's asking us to find the uh, com the composite t following s for a coordinate x and y. Now just like the composition of functions, I could write this, if it makes it easier for you, like this. So this would be the composition of t following, uh, sorry, translation following our scale change. So what that means is we're going to put our scale change inside of our translation. So we're going to take this 2x Oops, went too far. We're going to take this 2x and put it in here for x. We replace the x with 2x. And we're going to replace the y in this other equation with just y. So that's going to stay the same. So our composition here of these two transformations would end up being 2x plus 4 and then y minus 3. So if I had a situation like this, where I wanted to apply this composition of these two transformations to neg the coordinate negative 2, 3, instead of having to do these separately, I can just plug it directly into here. And I can say that, well, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 4 would be 0. And, well, this would be an situ interesting situation. And 3 minus 3 would end up being 0. So coordinate negative 2, 3 would end up being moved to the point 0, 0, or our origin. Now they ask us to find the composition of S following T. So for this one, we would apply the scale change after applying the translation. So in other words, let me erase this. What we're going to do here is we're going to take and replace X plus 4, that expression, in here for X. So it's not 2X plus 4. It's 2 times whatever X is. So it's 2 times the expression X plus 4. And then we replace y here with y minus 3. So now this one's going to require a little bit more work. Because like I said, it's going to be 2 times the expression x plus 4. That will give you your x value. And then the y minus 3, when we replace y, which is y minus 3, it stays the same. So if I simplify this, this will be 2x plus 8 and y minus 3. Now just like before, if I had, uh, and I was trying to find this value for this new coordinate, after applying this uh, composition for negative 2, 3, I would just plug it into this formula. So 2 times uh, negative 2 would be negative 4, and negative 4 plus 8 would be 4, and 3 minus 3 would be 0. So we can see that, again, that the composition of um, transformations are also not commutative because I didn't get the same answer here when I switched the order around. So that summarizes the composition of transformations. So that's pretty easy. It's pretty basic. So we will end the video and the lesson here. So now you should be able to successfully complete your assignment. So with that, good luck.